one ship and managed to plant itself on this unremarkable moon like a rogue dandelion clock dancing through space. And I thought, <laughs> well, isn't that a kindred spirit? This whimsical little cactus is an explorer just like us. To me, what we do at Constellation is always bittersweet. When we explore new worlds, we leave our homes behind. In a way, that's what this plant represents. It's a hello and a goodbye. So, I'm giving this plant to you, Barrett, in hopes that you never lose your sense of adventure and the places you call home. Let it be a celebration of every long goodbye and each new beginning. All right. We're heading back to Jemison, people. I've got to pick up a spacesuit that's a little more appropriate to um, rendezvous with the Crimson Fleet in. But I think we could all do with a little bit of R&R &R anyway. You know, it occurs to me that you have quite the history with the Crimson Fleet, don't you? I mean, we all do at this point, but you are absolutely a special person of interest when it comes to them. They know you, is what I'm saying. You're probably on a chalkboard somewhere, and I'm thinking that if we're going to infiltrate them, you might need to sit this one out. Fascinate me. Yeah, I think you should stay in the ship. Just keep your head down. I don't want them to see you walk through the doors and then just start shooting. And they'll certainly be more suspicious. So, yeah, you stay out of sight in the ship, yeah? Ha! <laughs> sure. You know where to find me if you miss my brilliant insights, though. Absolutely. Totally. In the ship. Captain, right, Vasco. It is pleasant to see you. I need someone to be my, um, intimidating muscle, I guess. Captain, so... Greetings. I need you to follow me for a while. I will accompany you as long as you require. Awesome. Brilliant. Right. Well, let's get back to the soul system. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to join the Crimson Fleet. Which are words I never thought I'd be saying. You know, do we really need the grab drive at the rear like that? I mean, they always seem to be placed at the rear. Apogee complete. We're in orbit. But I never see them, you know, firing up. I do wonder, actually. I mean, they're not thrust technology. They open a grav portal or whatever it's called in front of you. I can't help but feel I'm painting a big target on my grav drive. And we're going to... Sol. Saturn, wasn't it? Yes. No, Jupiter! Saturn's over there. I always get those two mixed up. I always get those two mixed up. Okay. Rendezvous with the Astrea at Europa. Okay. Did we have a name? Let's have a quick look. After doing a job for old Adler Kemp, he's decided to refer me to one of his superiors. I need to go to Europa where I'll meet Neva Mora. Neva Mora. Okay. And... The Astrea is a ship orbiting Europa. Okay. Let's... Go. It's gonna be... Let's just have the weapons ready. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that grab drive could be... Look who finally had a gun to show up. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. Okay, hello. So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Ooh, we're in similar ships. <laughs> I hope... She doesn't recognize this one. That's what I'm here for. Damn right. Adler said that. I didn't know he cared. Didn't I already prove myself? Yeah, wait a minute. Didn't I already prove myself? To Adler? Sure. 
But for all I know, you're just his latest impulse buy. Okay. Still, I'm feeling generous. So I'm going to give you a chance to prove you're not a total waste of cabin air. Okay. Uh, Adler said that I didn't know he cared. Yeah, okay. Well, it's nice to know that Adler says nice things about me. <laughs> You're funny. I hate funny. Remember that. Oh, so, I'm going to remember that. Before I put you to work, let's get everything out of <laughs> I'm going to remember that. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. Ooh, do I have to capitalize the V? I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. Okay. I want him dead. Okay. What? Right. Why are you not hunting him down yourself? There's a lesson in this. I need you to learn what'll happen if you decide to turn your back on the fleet. Oh, okay. It, your glimpse into a possible unfortunate future. So you'd better pay close attention. Okay. What options? Right. A medical supply ship. Why not a ship with some actual loot? Why is he there? This job isn't about the loot. But I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. Are there other people on the ship, though? Hmm. What options do I have to complete this job? Kill Rake? That's your only option? Okay. If you want my advice? There's only one way to guarantee he dies. Turn the Ragana into space junk. Only way to be sure. Or see if we can acquire him as an asset. Consider it done? It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. Right. Okay, so... What? Wait a minute. How can you be certain that Austin Rake is on the Ragana? I've been tracking Rake for months. He's making it tough. Not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado. And I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Okay. Why do you want Austin Rake? That's pretty obvious. Really. I'm I'm not going to ask a stupid question like that. Okay, thank you very much. You've been entertaining. Okay. I need to put my guns up just in case. Now. My patience, oh, Rook. what? No. Go. Oh, God, are you... I didn't mean to actually speak to you. Can you get out of my... Of that zip, because I've got you targeted. Can I untarget you? All right, yes. I want to stand up. That's what I want to do. Okay. So, I'm wondering... Yeah, I would like to get this guy alive. If we can get this, if we can board the ship, take him alive. Maybe flip him as an asset. Arrest him. By the way, can yes. I ask? You need something? Yes. Your amazing company. But it is pleasing also, to speak with you. Uh, I do am you? always willing to carry an extra weapon. Or two. Okay. Or three. Oh, three. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want... Where was it? It was... The Nova Blast. I want the Nova Blast. It uses heavy fusion. Yeah? Heavy fuse. Okay. That's... Is it heavy particle fuse? Or is that not what it uses? That uses 7-7, seven, seven, more 7-7, seven, seven, and 6 Okay. 
fuse, heavy particle, right? That's... But that says heavy particle fuse, whereas the weapon just said heavy fuse. You know what? I'm going to assume it's the right I am one. I here if you need me. Definitely. You keep a lookout for us. I, I wish I could give you this weapon. Can I, can I make you wield weapons like this? Is that even an option? I'm not sure if Vasco's the right person for this job. I'm not totally sure Vasco is the right person for this job. Okay. Sam! I need someone with, well, thumbs. No offense. I mean, I realize, I realize this sounds very much like a very low bar that you have to pass. Statistically, I believe that should be impossible. How are you? Oh, look at you, Mr. Key. It's good to be on the bar. How are we here in Vasco? Is he... Sometimes. Has he got, like, speakers in there? Okay. I'm up for a little adventure. Excellent. I want to head back out. I was itching to travel with you again. For now. I mean, we're just going to... Objections. Oh, that's good. But Sam, 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 Sam. Stop taking inventory. Sam. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Absolutely. Let's trade gear. even out the load. Yeah, I do not want you to use that. I want you to be using... I've got two of them. One of these, and I'm going to give you some ammo for it. If I remember... Heavy particle fuse. Here, I have a few hundred. Right? Okay. And... Let's make sure you're actually using it by... Okay. Weapons check. No, that's it then. Weapons check. Weapons check. No, no, no. Okay, I think I saw it. All right, okay, fine. Quick draw. Yes, got the whole cowboy thing going on. Excellent. Well done. Right. Let's go and see if we can get this person. Also, where the hell was this person? So we're not actually going to meet this contact face to face. Maybe I didn't need to worry about getting changed. However... Find the Ragana near Enceladus. Let's... Oh, it's in... It is around Saturn. It's not that far. Okay, then. Let's... Set course. Oh. I definitely want to turn the turrets off if he starts... Is there anyone else on board this ship? Because we definitely don't want to be... Okay, you know what? Whoa, whoa. This is Dmitry Moldavsky, pilot of the Ragana. We are a simple transport ship heading to New Homestead. We do not want any trouble. Okay, I, I hear you, I hear you. Where the hell are you? Identify. We do not want any trouble. Hi. Uh, you... right. Um, okay. Then, boy, do I have some bad news for you. You have a crewman on board I'm looking for. Looks like trouble found you. You've drawn the attention of the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, look, you have a crewman on board I'm looking for. Let's not tell him Crimson Fleet just yet. All right. And what are your intentions with this crewman? Okay. <sighs> Okay. I only have one demand. Kill him, do that, and I'll let you go. Oh, here's what's going to happen. We're going to open your hatch, and I'm going to board. Mm. Should we be honest? If word gets back to her, she's going to be... Right, here's the thing, though. I mean, we don't want to get into a firefight. These are, these are innocent civilians. If my cover gets blown, it gets blown at this point. I'd rather my cover gets blown than I end up in a fight with people. Because if I said I'm Crimson Fleet... They might say, well, no, we're not giving him up. They might do the heroic thing and then... Pff. Okay, Fleet wants Austin Rake dead. I'd like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Oh, God. I do not know. You should take that offer. Trust me when I say this will be easier face to face. Well, normally I would say no, but... Frankly, it will be safer for us that way. Okay, so right. we can... You can dock. We will talk then. 
All right, nice, nice. Okay, let's. Here we go. And let's be charming. Sam's Sam's pretty charming. Sam's pretty char charming. We're okay, nice. Whew. Let's hope this wasn't a mistake. Although, I'd rather make a mistake and have the cover blown and have to go back to whatever his name was, the Admiral, and give him the bad news than accidentally get into a fight with these people, yeah? Okay, I'm not going to ask which harness. All right. Hi. All right, guys, put the weapons away. I don't have my weapon now. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Okay, smart man. Um... I don't know who's listening over comms. I God, I hope no one was listening over comms because I did kind of give the game away. Um, okay, look, I didn't know who was listening over the comms, so this is safe, a face-to-face -face talk. That is true, which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Correct. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Uh... He's a Crimson Fleet Pirate. Kill him and I let you go. Mm. Look. The fleet want Rake dead, but I want to resolve this without violence. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? No. And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. We what, what, I'm sorry. You'll leave him on this ship? Okay. Oh, so that... The fleet won't buy that. Someone may need to die after all. No, no. Okay, I know, no, no. I want you to deliver him to Sis Death. If the fleet find out about this deal, we're both exposed. You deliver him to Sis Death. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship, and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. Okay. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Okay. Awesome. Can I just quickly chat with this Our gentleman? Pleasantness aside, the people of New Homestead will be grateful for these supplies. Sure they Be will. careful around the fleet. They talk about family, but it's just a bunch of crap. So now what? They're gonna put me in a cis death prison? I'm not saying it's worse than death, but it's pretty damn close. Okay, I am trusting you to keep your word. I thought we were dead. I can't believe it. Right, I am trusting you to keep your word. Don't make me come and chase you again. Trust me, if they find out that he's still wandering around, why are you making finger guns? Bad habits. You, you just want this resolved. Trust me on that. Okay. I would have preferred to have taken him into custody myself and delivered him. We're just gonna have to trust that captain. I guess Sis Death can find them if they're lying to us. Right. Let's get back. We've got some supplies. We're gonna pretend it was loot. It was a bit weak source, but it's the best we've got. We managed to resolve that without any violence, which is a plus. Major plus. In fact, it's pretty much the priority. So, now we need to get back. Return to Neva in Europa's orbit. Right, well, first thing, let's 
undock. Don't want to be grav jumping while attached. I'm guessing that would be really, really bad. Okay, let's just... Are they... Grav jumping away. Down below. Pay attention to your scanner. I'm trusting you. God knows why. Okay. Am I turrets cross-eyed? My turrets are cross-eyed. Right, okay, so. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to need some power on the grav drive. All right, let's get back and see if that's enough. Europa. Here we go. Ooh, and I have to remember, she hates funny. <laughs> okay. Good. Damn, Mercs just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, what? Brooke, wanna help me with some target practice? Okay. And the grab drive is what? Oh, where's my grab? Give it. Okay, just... Oh god, I'm so not... Right, let's just... Let's just... Okay, I guess we're not worrying about... What is wrong with my... Yeah, this is not the... Gr Yeah, I wasn't thinking they were escaping. I was not ready for that at all. Where's the loot? Where's the... Uh, excuse me. I believe all the kills were mine. I know you're in charge and everything, but... Psh, don't care. All right. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Of now tell me about the Ragon. <laughs> Under control. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Um, okay, lie, he's dead. Actually, I ran into some complications. Who exactly is a clip? Why what? were you attacked by them? I have them? no idea, and it's frustrating the hell out of me. Oh, I know, I right? I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but there's been so many, I've lost count. We actually have something in common. Do you know who exactly they are? Like, who runs them? Do you know anything I don't know? Mercenaries. Guns for hire that shoot their own parents if they were paid enough. I'll tell you. We do a hell of a lot of dirty work in the Crimson Fleet. But we'd never sell away our souls like an ecliptic merc does. Wait. You're saying you're better than ecliptic? Okay. Uh, all right. Austin Rake is dead, the Ragana survived. Yep. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rake's taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Of course we're clear. Best, I don't respond well to... Best decision you ever made, I don't respond well to threats. Okay, I'm not doing the whole, I don't respond well to threats. Because she doesn't care. Best decision you ever made. Yeah? Last person who said that was rape. So you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. Oh, I think now I can get that, like, deal. much deeper. It's time to see what you signed up for. I'm going to upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key. The fleet calls it home. Head okay. out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Uh, that wasn't exactly an easy initiation, but at least they trust us. Not as far as they can throw us, but in time we'll shed those kilos. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone jumped in or out, but she's still... Okay. 
I am probably... Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying not to embarrass us by crashing into all the wreckage we created. Did we miss some loot? We've missed some loot. G g chat in a second. We're Crimson Fleet now, and Crimson Fleet never leaves behind loot, yeah? I'm getting into character. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm obsessed with loot. Oh, God. I just tried to shoot the loot. Okay. Are you okay? You look hurt. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Kong? Oh. Is it everything you imagined? Oh yeah, totally. It's such an honor you should see. <laughs> yes, it was a total honor. You should see my diary. I gush about you all the time. <laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days... He'd flat out deck him. Okay. It sounds like you aren't happy. I want my miracles. Why do they revere him Revere him so much? He, he's just because he started the Aquila? There's books about him. Lots of them. I had a couple of high notes. He was one of the first grab jump explorers, back when they had no idea of the dangers. First okay. solo jump out of Soul System, all him. He explored all the planets in Cheyenne and settled the Kila. Plus, he formed the whole Freestar Collective with Volley. So, as you can see, the names got some serious heft. Okay, fine, yes, I'd like my miracles now. Thank you very much. It appears I left them in my other jacket. Sorry. <laughs> but, really, for some people... It ain't a joke. They have serious expectations. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Korra, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... <laughs> I don't know. To grow up and have a happy life. Cora's great, though. You're doing an awesome job. Oh, she's doing a great job, and you're not getting in the way too much. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars, and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now, <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? Totally. Uh, hey, at least, at least you've got a sense of humor now. When we first met, I had my doubts. I'm the worst. There's hidden depths to you. You really do have the heart of an explorer. You do, but you also have the heart of a parent. You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The oh, stuff probably they publish be terrible. is just downright embarrassing. And I'm kind of hoping they don't publish any of this. This... Yeah. Okay, you know what? He seems like the right guy to keep alongside for this. He's got a whole space cowboy thing. I mean, maybe someone will recognize him. Maybe they won't. Crimson Fleet, do you think they follow? That sort of thing, probably not. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've made a good first impression, apparently. But now we need... Oh. Oh. Yeah. We, we, we best just go. Forgot about that. Yeah, we need to report back to the boss, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, okay. And let's try not to almost crash into the ship this time. I think last time it was because we were grav jumping. And this time it's because we just weren't paying. Oh, well. Wasn't as bad. Alright. 
Oh. Should I probably hail them? I mean, I know I'm going to be let on, but... It's a little... Forgetting all my military protocols. Board is clear. We're docked. Maybe that's good if we're going to be um, getting in with the Crimson Fleet. Maybe I do need to forget those protocols. Not that that's particularly hard at the moment. You guys have been a terrible influence on me. I don't mean... I don't mean that. That was a joke. I like the influence on me. Yes, I do. Okay. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to pay for that comment regardless. Let's go give the guy the gun. Ooh, I wonder if... I, I'm guessing that ship reported to SysDef pretty much immediately. That... Board's green. Ready for what comes next. Oh. Follow me. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an I informal see. greeting, but I am I hope I'll be able to see him next time with the results. Oh, you had a friend on that ship. Well, okay. I'm guessing you're uh, happy that it went down the way it went down. The buddy of mine. This is more than a job for me. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Oh, Sam. I forgot to ask if you're okay with, you know. Do what Commander Ikande says, and you'll go far. Yeah, I'm pretty much doing it. Um. First mission in the books, and no casualties. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing a co onto uh, a UC special operations sort of. You're back. Headquarters. Anything to report? Wait. Oh, God, please tell me. We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port. Off the books. Excellent. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Okay. Um, it would have... I would have been fine killing himself, but didn't want to traumatize. I risk my cover, so you better appreciate any point in trying to get... Right. Can we get Rake to give up information about the fleet? That's something we're looking into. But it doesn't seem like he knows much. He might be better served as bait. But that... now, we'll keep him in the brick. Perhaps you could pay me a visit there sometime? Oh. I'm sure he'd be pleased to see you. Okay. Well, I'm glad he surrendered. Didn't want to kill anyone, innocent or otherwise. So, yeah. I think it went down pretty well. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I hate to say it, sometimes folks gotta die, but this was not one of those situations. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack neighbor's ship. Oh. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning neighbor's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. Risky move. Um, it was pretty clever, actually. I'm more worried about how how well informed he is. So Eclipse didn't have a problem with attacking the Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. Yeah, you should have told them I was coming. They'd have done it for free. Long story. Yeah, no, okay, you know what? I approve. That was a smart way to ensure her trust. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Uh, It's a miracle the whole thing worked. It was a clever plan. Mm, okay, let's just go with, it seems like I've passed the initial test. Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. Searsha. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Okay. What do you know about Neva? The woman has a record that could stretch across Sol and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Okay, I won't. Okay, so everything's going to plan. Idiots don't suspect a thing. Let's not get cocky. Everything's going to plan. Yes, 
You pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that Thanks. either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. Got you it. should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Right. Okay. Shouldn't I get off the vigilance before my cover's blown? That's a big... That's a good point. Do you not think they might see me coming here? And it would blow my cover? The vigilance is equipped with one of the most advanced intelligence suites in the UC fleet. Nothing slips through. Which you is why rest you assured also know what I'm doing. If the had any access to our whereabouts or have infiltrated our security, we'd know. As long as you're here, your identity is safe. Well, I guess if you're wrong about that, my cover was probably already blown anyway. Um, I was told to meet Neva at the key. I've got coordinates to the Crimson Fleet base. I do, believe it or not. Excellent. If you're heading to the key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. Okay. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Ugh, no one said there was going to be homework. Uh, I assure you, there is only information that is pertinent to the mission. Our dossiers are designed to be succinct. Don't worry about it. In him. any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This okay. will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I okay. hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, quick, quick question. Upgrades to the shield? Uh, anything the made it that... to port with zero casualties. Nicely done. Oh, thank you. Things Any... have we don't have a full map of the fleet's roster. The members change too quickly. Oh. You mentioned the Vigilance is upgrading its shielding. That's right. It's something we've requested a while ago, in preparation for a future conflict with the fleet. Once we finalize everything and run a few tests, We'll have the defenses needed for a jump to the Crick system when the time comes. Okay. Any chance I could... What is... Why is it called the Crick system? The system was originally called Alpha Ophiuchi until a flag was planted there by Jasper Cricks, the founder of the Crimson Fleet. Oh. Since it was crucial that space travelers avoided that system, navigators marked it as Cricks on star maps as a warning. They could have just as easily labeled it Crimson Fleet, so I'm guessing the pirates themselves were responsible for spreading their leader's name. Over the years, people forgot the system's original designation and started calling it the Crick System. It's been that way ever since. Fair enough. Do you have any detailed information about the Crimson Fleet? Sure. We have a database of profiles you can read, which should help you ingratiate yourself with the group. All However, right. the profiles are a guide, not gospel. Use what you can, fill in the blanks, and play off that. I imagine when you're done, you'll be able to generate far more accurate profiles than what we have in our system. Surely, if I'm successful in doing what I'm supposed to be doing, we won't need those. Why hold prisoners aboard the Vigilance when you could send them directly to prison? Information, right? Two reasons. First, Commander Akande is playing this operation extremely close to the vest. Also, they're supposed that to be dead. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety yeah, yeah. and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. Yeah, obvious question. Just open for a little more information, like where I could find them. Um, okay, well, thank you. Good luck on the key. Uh, right, there is a brig around we here somewhere. Over whether the fleet would let you in or leave you for dead. And, uh, unless you're a zombie, I owe the ops team lunch. Sis Def Marines are the best of the best. I find your lack of faith disturbing. You have no idea how long I've wanted to say that. 